Oh, look at this bit of kit. It's time for a tool review. Let's see what's happening here with this. Welcome back to the channel. So today, what we're going to be doing is a tool review. Now, what I'm going to be reviewing is this. It is the Ansel L8000. It's a smoke machine. Very, very nifty bit of kit. Uh, it's got some cool features along with it as well. So let me show you the features that it's got. Let me show you what the case looks like and what you get with the actual kit. So this is what the box looks like. It comes with a hard carry case. Um, so this is the actual smoke tester. It's not something inside the box that you lift out. Um, you just unclip the two uh, tabs there. So these, this is mine here. This, is, this doesn't come with a kit. Um, but this is the actual smoke tester here and you can see we've got a display there, LCD display. We've got our input there for the to power up the smoke machine. We've also got our oil fill plus our smoke outlet. Now the good thing about this is it actually comes with a dipstick. So I'll just show you here now. I've actually filled it up with oil so I don't know if you'll be able to see there, but the, the actual red mark is the maximum uh, oil amount that you want to put in this. And it's got quite nice switches as well. Uh, quite a solid bit of kit. Uh, like I say, I've had this probably for about three weeks now. I've used it on a couple of vehicles. And it's a really, really, really good smoke machine. Uh, a lot better than the one that I did have. Now on to what you get in the actual bag that comes with it. I'm going to try and open this with one hand, hopefully. So, you've got a smoke outlet hose, which basically just connects to there once that's screwed off. Uh, that will just connect there, like a union. And we've got our kind of, kind of tapered end on there, uh, which will connect to either the actual pump up end here, which is the one that we most commonly use, or you've got the cone adapter which will obviously connect on to the end of the tapered fit in there. You also get a spare one of these so this is this part here because uh, sometimes you can get little wee tears in there which obviously um, doesn't allow it to stay inflated so that's quite handy as well. Uh, you can see we've got an instruction manual so we've got a user man uh, user manual there, tells you everything that comes in the kit. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because nobody really reads that anyway. It also comes with the blocking caps uh, which do come in handy if you want to bung stuff off. Uh, we've got a wee tool there as well and we've got a spare gasket so it does come with spares in case you run into any trouble. One other thing I forgot to mention is it also comes with a refill bottle so you can see there mineral oil slash baby oil and that's 50 mils now obviously it doesn't come with baby oil in it so you need to fill that up yourself but it does come with a container there just so you can fill it up and it will also come with the the jacks the actual power adapter now I would always recommend getting longer uh, banana jacks anyway you can see I've got quite a lot of uh, different bits and pieces there, so I had these lying about. These are actually for my decade box. I can't remember how long they are, but they are good to have. And then you've just got your standard crocodile clips here that will obviously connect to that. Now, obviously, there's a lot about this smoke machine that I'm not going to cover, or that I'm not going to be able to cover in one video. Um, so I'll just leave kind of like a a data sheet here if it's any help to anybody uh, but you will see this machine getting used in more videos because I do do quite a lot of smoke tests you know if you ever get any DPF trouble or anything like that and it's all down to a boost leak that's where a smoke tester can come in handy but I have got a guinea pig vehicle out there now um, an Audi that I'm going to connect up the smoke machine I'm going to you know make up a, a an actual leak you know I'll show you the pressure I'll show you all the functions that it can do um, and one Really good thing is as well, which I thought was quite cool when using this, is you can actually set the pressure yourself. So it's not just like your, you know, your standard smoke machine where, you know, that's the pressure you're getting and that's it. You can set the pressure 
um, obviously you need to know what you're doing you don't want to put the pressure up too high uh, but it does let you do that in custom mode I always select professional mode but I will show you in custom mode how much smoke output is there um, with the maximum pressure so you can see I've got a little adapter in there uh, I've not yet got it connected up to the smoke machine end because I'm going to show you how we connect that up in a minute but on this car basically we're, we're getting a power supply from there and we're just going to connect our earth up now so what I'll do is I'll show you the start up screen right now so look at that very fancy very fancy for a smoke tester um, and we've got a couple of different options there which I'm going to run through in a minute but first thing first is I'll get it, this union connected up so that just screws onto the smoke tester and just to keep things a little bit less messy I'm just going to route that round the back and connect that through in fact, do you know what, before I do that I'm going to start the smoke machine up and I'll show you the amount of smoke that comes out of this thing just on start up or near start up so if we click enter you can see we've got two options there pressure decay test smoke test so we're going to click on smoke test so it tells you there the purpose of the smoke test is to locate a leak by pressurising the system we'll click yes and you can see we've got professional mode or custom mode so it tells you here professional mode lists commonly used systems and gives a recommended value to set the pressure now if we go down custom mode you can see there you can manually set the pressure value please check the original factory information of the system now obviously you want to be careful with that so what I will do is just click on custom mode and we'll see what we can actually set the pressure to so if we just go all the way up we'll keep going let's see how high you can actually set that to so the maximum pressure is 20.1 psi so 20 psi that you can set that to uh, not that i'll recommend that but i'm just saying that, you know that that is there so i've just clicked back and what i'm going to do is click on professional mode and that will give you four options or five options don't know why this camera is not focusing that well i'll just zoom out a bit so we've got a turbo system recommended system setting pressure is 100 kPa 14.5 psi fair enough and we'll run that for five minutes so we'll click ok and then it basically gives you instructions there connect the standard cone adapter or air intake adapter to the target system wait until the smoke is coming out and then connect the smoke outlet to the hose adapter so we'll just click yes click yes again so it does it does tell you a lot of things before you do the smoke test which is quite handy because if you're not familiar with doing smoke tests then you know that's obviously there to help you but i don't know if you'll see already the amount of smoke that that's belting out straight away literally how many seconds are we in 20 seconds, 30 seconds you can see there we had it set at 5 minute and we're currently at 4 minute 30 seconds so you can see the amount of smoke that's belching out of that which is really really good now this video obviously isn't how to do a smoke test it's just showing you know the capabilities of this tool um, as you can see it's a very very fancy smoke tester the ones that I've used before have just been your standard on and off switch nothing really fancy about it but I really appreciate Ansel for sending me this you know this tool through um, because it is quite a <laughs> decent bit of kit we're going to run it for five minutes again click OK so let's so the smoke's pretty much coming out of there straight away which is good and you can see the, the 
the actual output is getting close to 1 psi that's obviously the set pressure now I can already see the leak so if I just pull these towards here and you've got a leak down there which the smoke testers picked up within we'll give it a minute so super quick you can see there all the smoke coming out so awesome bit of kit really really good so let's run you through another couple of the functions that it can do so we're now back at the main menu and I'm going to try and take these away for the glare is that better? I'm not too sure Ah, that's much better. So you can see there, we were just on uh, high pressure. You can see we've got uh, low pressure there, EVAP system. And if we go back into uh, high pressure, so click OK. You can see there that we've got a pressure decay test, which I think is quite good as well. So if we click OK on that, it will give you what it actually does. The purpose of the pressure decay test is to verify that there is a leak and to measure the pressure drop of the leak. No smoke is used during the pressure decay test. So we'll click OK. Now this test does take 15 minutes or up to 15 minutes so I'm not going to go ahead with the test but I'm just going to show you what it actually does. So we're just on the main menu just now and obviously we've still got some smoke in the system so you will see that there is some smoke still coming out. Um, and what that's actually going to do, up to a 15 minute period, it is going to build the pressure. You can see it's slowly building there, 1.1 psi. Now, I've already created a leak here, so what I'm going to do is lose that pressure. And you can see, if you've got a major leak, it's obviously going to struggle to, to build up to the set pressure that you've set the tool at. So you can see there, the test has came up, you have got a leak. It's obviously picked that up um, a lot quicker because I've took that intake pipe off, uh, sorry the boost pipe off. Um, you can see there we've got a pressure drop of 13.59 psi so almost completely no pressure build up at all um, compared to what we set at the tool. So if we go back to the main menu I'll just show you what options you've got in settings. Uh, if we've got the pressure unit click OK can choose PSI or slash KPA, whatever one you prefer, depending on where you are, and we can obviously turn the beep on and off, now I prefer to keep it there, uh, that's just my personal preference, and if we go down, click enter, you can see software version, hardware version and serial number, so you know that's pretty much it, the only other thing that's there is self-test now it tells you right there the purpose of the self-test is to detect whether there is a leak in the machine itself you know this is a brand new machine straight out of the box I have definitely not got a leak in this thing well there you have it guys that is the Ansel L8000 in my opinion it is a very very clever bit of kit you know for the cost compared to some of the more expensive smoke machines out there this can do a lot of functions and it comes pretty much well protected you know it's a nice carry case if you drop it the likelihood of something breaking is very very slim because it's quite quite heavy i would say um so yeah that is ansel l8000 smoke machine so if you want to get your hands on this little bit of kit here i will leave a discount code right here and there'll be a link in the description but the discount code will only be valid for the next couple of months so if you want to use that make sure you use it while it's still valid so that's another tool review done for the channel guys i know not everybody likes tool reviews but listen i need to do it that is the only sort of um, stuff that i get out of doing you know youtube i don't get anything else from it people think you know you you get loads and loads of money from it you don't so when companies like Ansel offer you tools I'm going to snatch them up because 
I'll use that smoke tester nearly, you know, three, four times a week on various boost leaks. So it will come up on more videos um, where we'll be using it a bit more on customers' cars, not just, you know, um, a car that I've got sitting there. So, yeah, thanks for watching this one. Hope everybody likes it. Give this video a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.